welcome back to Rambling Roxy's Adventures Through History. Uh, we've talked a little bit about General Sherman and we got to visit his house. Um, and there's several other Civil War generals um, from Ohio. And I just kind of wanted to go back and look at a little bit more about Ohio's role in a couple of different wars. Ohio um, didn't really play a huge part in the American Revolution as far as battles go. Uh, obviously, we've talked about how important it was uh, in kind of sparking the American Revolution and some other things, but there were no battles fought here. There's only been two battles fought in Ohio, uh, one during the Civil War and then one during the War of 1812. The War of 1812 was a battle that, uh, or a war that occurred after the American Revolution and was fought against the British again. The British decided that they were going to try to, you know, come in and uh, take America back over and interfere with trade. And there's a whole big thing on the War of 1812 that we can get into into a later time because it was a own big issue there. But let's talk about the one battle from the War of 1812 that was actually fought here in Ohio. It was fought at one of the forts, Fort Meigs to be exact, um, and that was fought in 1813. And let's talk a little more about it. Uh, with all the settlers living in Ohio, they needed forts to defend against the British during the War of 1812 uh, because they were frequently attacking uh, outposts and trying to take um, some of the Northwest Territory and lands in Ohio back from America. Uh, it was, the fort was named after the governor of Ohio at the time, uh, Jonathan Meggs Jr. And it's located in Harrisburg, Ohio, on a bluff above the Maumee River. A bluff is kind of like a hillside. It's a great place to build a fort because when you're up on top of the hill, we have a nice hill in our backyard and you can see everywhere and see people coming. So hills are a great place to build forts to kind of protect against people coming in, and then also be a, a lookout place to say, oh, hey, I think the British are coming again, because the British were still wearing red coats at the time. So as you've noticed, like this time of year, it's kind of cold and everything's uh, brown, but even when things are green, red stands out, doesn't it? Well, it kind of helped them recognize other British soldiers, but it also helped everyone else recognize British soldiers. So at Fort Meigs, they could be on top of this hill looking around, easily see if the redcoats were coming. And the Maumee River uh, goes right into Lake Erie. So it's a great place to uh, move troops and supplies along Lake Erie and kind of protect against the British who might come down through Lake Erie and try to use the river to uh, invade other parts of Ohio. So it's a great place to uh, build a fort. It's also a very scenic location uh, and a great place to visit if you want to go. It has beautiful views. Uh, the first siege was in 1813. Siege is kind of like a battle that we, the people can't leave the fort because they're surrounded by soldiers. Um, and after the second siege, it was actually tore down to be, because um, they didn't need it anymore. The War of 1812 didn't last very long. So since they didn't need the fort anymore, they tore it down and used their resources elsewhere. Uh, the fort was rebuilt in the 2000s for historic preservation. And if you go to the fort today, if you go to Fort Meigs, you can learn about blacksmithing, which was very important during that time where they learned to make horseshoes and all the um, all kinds of metal works that they needed for uh, the armies at the time. You can also drink tea, and there's lots of old time crafts that you can make at the museum. And something else kind of fun, if you go in the fall or any time, there, there are also ghost tours for those who love the spooky side of things. So you can kind of go see uh, um, what spirits may be lingering about the area. It doesn't seem like it's too scary though, it's just kind of a fun little ghost tour. Uh, there's also lots of reenactments there for the history buff. So if you want to go see a reenactment of one of the sieges, uh, just go to their website and you can uh, see when those are scheduled to be and then you can go see one. That'd be kind of fun to go see. Uh, the one reenactment is always uh, of the first siege is always over Memorial Day weekend. So if you want to go see a historic reenactment of one of the only wars, uh, well, not a whole war, but one of the only battles fought in a major war here in Ohio, uh, go take a, take a look at Fort Meigs. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe.